Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be unboxing FYE's exclusive Munch Pack box. In this box, we have 10 full-size snacks, one unique soda, a $10 coupon off future Munch Pack subscription, as well as a bonus Munch Pack sunglasses or reusable straw included. All right, guys, let's get started and open this box up. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like on the front. Let's open it up. Ooh. This is what it looks like on the cover. It's cute, it says cookies and candy and stuff. All right, so it has a little exclusive pack. Oh, save $10 off your next box. I'm assuming it's going to tell you what each one is. Travel around the world. Oh, it tells you what everything is. I don't want to ru ruin the surprise, so I'm not going to look at that. Here we go. Oh, it's so cute. All right, guys. So here is here it is uh, on the inside. Here are all the snacks. So I'm going to open up every one, uh, one by one. So the first one I grabbed... Read it first. Boy Bawang Cornick <laughs> Leshon Menuk. I'm butchering all of these words. <laughs> Flavor, bigger taste, crunchier. So this is what it looks like. Boy Bawang Cornick. Yeah, that's the first one. The second one. Oh, it has the Cheeto guy on it. Uh oh. It says zero one six one three. <laughs> Just bunch of what? Oh, letters, bunch of numbers, uh, and something in another language. When I do each snack, I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look up this pamphlet because I'm pretty sure it tells you where it's from. Yeah. So these are like Cheetos. The next one. Okay. Is a cookie that looks like it was melting. <laughs> uh, it's called. Uh, this is, looks like someone stepped on it a thousand times. Oh, it's a Dutch Stroop waffle. It's ruined, but it looks pretty good. The next one is yummy gummy sour rainbow strips. These look good. I'm gonna enjoy these. The next one is... There's a lot of stuff in this box. I'm really excited. This one is seren, Serendipity Grab It... Ah, oh, peanut butter. Peanut butter stick with raspberry jam. Next. Next we have mil Millions. Vem Vemito? Millions. Mamito. They look like nerds. The next one is. Oh, nuts. Granuts. Granuts. Cranberry trail mix. I'm not gonna like that. I don't like nuts. Ooh, this sounds good. This is a cow tails caramel brownie stick. Cow tails caramel brownie stick. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Next, okay, this one looks really crushed. So, chicky, chicky vanilla. It looks like a cookie. Chicky vanilla. Looks like a cookie, a vanilla cookie. And oh, I've seen these before. Uh, this is top, Topo Topo uh, Rich Chocolate Crispy Pretzel And last but Oh, we forgot about our straw We got a reusable straw, folks We did not get the sunglasses We got the reusable straw And then we have the soda Something, something cider 
something cider. I don't know what language this is. So that is everything in the box. So we'll just start. We're going to just start from. Actually, we should start from the how it is in the book. So we're going to start with the first one in the book. All right, guys. So let's dive into the first one. I'm going to do it in the order of the pamphlet that they gave me. So the first one we're going to be trying is the Cheetos Dolphin, which is this one right here. Uh, it's from Israel. And it's just a cheesy white cheddar dolphin shaped pups. So let's try it out. <laughs> Alright, so this is what it looks like. It's like a little dolphin. It's like a fat dolphin. And it's like a cheese puff. Let's try one. This tastes like Cheetos. Like white cheddar cheese puffs. Hmm. These are good. They're kind of bland. Like they're not really like cheesy. But. Yeah, so these are basically Cheetos. Like white cheddar Cheetos. And they're from Israel. So the next one on the pamphlet is the Boy Boang Leshon Manak. These things. Um, they are from they're from the Philippines and they're basically they're roasted chicken flavor. And I'm not really sure what they are. Here it is. So let's try it out. It's like really ooh. Alright. Oh, fudge. Shop on the floor. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's like little puffs. So let's don't try one. Let's try one. It tastes like barbecue chicken. It tastes like like barbecue chicken puffs. Wow. These are good. Mmm. Wow. I feel like I'm eating like a chicken leg, like a barbecue chicken leg. Alright. These are good. I like these. Alright guys. So far the first ones, the first two that I've done, pretty good. I haven't really tasted anything bad yet. So moving on to our third snack of the box. It is the Lote Topo, I believe it's chocolate. They are, it's a chocolate flavored pretzel stick. Oh, let me tell you where it's from. It's from Thailand. Here they are. Let's open it up. Here's the packaging. All right, this is what it looks like. It's just a long pretzel stick with chocolate inside. Sounds really good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Wow. Nothing better. It's like a chocolate covered pretzel. I can eat I can eat the entire pack. But I won't. Mmm. Okay. I'm just gonna have half of this. It's basically a pretzel with chocolate filling inside. Tastes like a chocolate covered pretzel. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Really delicious. I'm gonna put this over here because I will be eating those later. Alright. The next one we're gonna be trying is the Serendipity Peanut Butter Sticks with Raspberry Jam from Greece. They said it's supposed to taste like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Here it is. Let's open it up. It's kind of like a Dunkaroos, but with like peanut butter sticks and raspberry jam. Oh my god, it's sticky. Okay. Ugh. 
All right. I'm not gonna really, I'm gonna lean it, but this is what it looks like. It's a peanut butter stick. Oh, crud. So, oh, oh, very peanut buttery. So you just take the stick and then you dip it in the raspberry <laughs> jam. Let's see. Meet up. Um, so this is what I guess it looks like and when you eat it, plus it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I taste more the jelly, more than the peanut butter. I'm putting a lot of jelly on, so maybe the jelly hides the peanut butter taste. Very interesting. Okay, it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's crazy. Hmm. Wow. Wasn't sure if I was gonna like this, but this literally tastes like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. All right, so there it is. It's the peanut butter sticks with jelly jam. Oh, raspberry jam. Sorry, not jelly jam. <laughs> raspberry jam from Greece. Hmm. I'd probably rate this maybe an eight out of ten. Nice. So we have tried four snacks so far, and I am very pleased with all four of them. I actually really like the peanut butter and jelly ones. I didn't think I would like it because I don't like peanut butter by itself, but when you dip it in the jelly, literally tastes like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I think that one is close to my favorite one. It's really good. So moving on, we're going to try the Vimto Millions from United Kingdom. This one that looks like nerds. So let's open this up without hopefully making a mess. Ah, here we go. Oh, see, you already made a mess. Oh my gosh. They're like literally nerds in a packaging. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, I put some in my hand. Here's what they look like. Let's try them. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I put a lot in my mouth. Okay. I don't know what this tastes like. Like a grape. A grape chewy nerd. It's getting stuck in my teeth. Okay, I'm not a fan of those. Um, They're kind of like nerds, but like... They're really chewy. And they get stuck in your molars. Um, Yeah, I don't like those. Alright guys, not a fan of those. Those were not. They the flavor was good, but it was hard to eat. Moving on, we are going to try the yummy gummy licorice sour candy cable from Turkey. Here they are. These are probably gonna be like <laughs> sour. Alright. So what it looks like, like a straw. Probably gonna take what tastes like a like an airhead. Try it. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. It's not really sour either. It's like sweet. Kind of hard to eat, but. Kind of like a Twizzler. I think it, I think it said licorice in the thing. Yeah, it's like a licorice. So it's like a sour licorice, but it's more sweet than sour. Hmm. All right. I like those. Those are good. All right, guys. Let's move on to our next snack. We're gonna be trying the brownie cow tails stick thing oh. from from the United States. Surprisingly, I've never heard of it. Here it is. It's basically it looks like a gigantic like laffy not laffy taffy like a tussie roll. 
but it's brownie flavored. Okay, I don't want to take it out of the whole wrapper. <laughs> it looks like a turd. <laughs> it looks like poop. <laughs> like, this, like, I don't know. Oh, there's like a. So it's like dark chocolate, and there's like chocolate in the middle as well. So let's try it. Tastes like a, to to a Tootsie Roll. Very chewy. Tootsie Roll like a cream. Not bad. Mmm. Oh, caramel brownie? Not getting a caramel in it. Very fudgy. Oh. It's like a tussie roll, but brownie flavored. Or like a hint of like a cream. Alright. Very chewy, like a tussie roll. Alright, let's move on to our next one. We're on the last page. We're going to try the finger licking Dutch shroop waffle. It says, meet your morning's coffee with. Oh, what was it say? Oh, meet your morning coffee's best friend. It's from the Netherlands. It's a thin wafer cookie with ooey gooey caramel in the middle. It's from the Netherlands. Now, this is the cookie that looks like somebody stepped on it a bunch of times. So. I don't really know how we're gonna eat this. Here it is. It's not. <laughs> I swear I did not eat it before. This is how it was packaged. I'm just gonna bite into it. Okay. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. This is so good. I don't know what this tastes like. It tastes like a cookie. I don't taste any coffee in it. Mm. Kinda hard, but really good. It's like a snickerdoodle, kind of. Definitely like a cookie. That's really good. Yeah, it tastes like a snickerdoodle cookie. That's delicious. I like that one. On to our final two snacks. We're going to be trying the Granuts Cranberry Trail Mix from Colombia. It's a mixture of peanuts, corn nuts, caramelized peanuts, cranberries, and almonds. I hate nuts, but we'll try. Okay. Let's try this one. Mmm, I have the corn nut. Mmm, ooh. That was a caramelized peanut, I think. Very salty, but like some of them are sweet. Mmm, I like the corn nuts. And the caramelized peanut, that was good. Nuts. Pretty self explanatory. So, the final snack we will be tasting is the Chicky Vanilla Cookies from Costa Rica. It's a uh, crunchy filling. It says these delicious and crunchy and filling vanilla dipped chicky cookies make, make for a great snack any time of the day. So they like vanilla cookies. Here they are. Let's open them up. Make sure they're not expired. They're not. 
This also looks like a snack somebody stepped on a bunch of times. Oh my god. <laughs> There's cookies and pieces. Okay, well we're gonna try to eat this one. This is what it looks like. Let's try it out. Mm. It tastes like those Italian cookies. Those like Italian vanilla cookies that are really like crummy and they have like sprinkles on them or chocolate. That's what it tastes like. Mmm. Really good. Alright guys, we are down to our final taste test, which is the Kobe Kaiorochi Cider from Japan. So, here it is. Alright, so this is some kind of cider, carbonized cider from Japan. This tastes like soda and I cannot stand soda. It's like cider soda, basically. <coughs> no. I'm not a fan. I don't like it. It's interesting. Kind of tastes like medicine. I'll try it again. Okay, I don't like that at all. <laughs> that is nasty. Um, it probably wouldn't taste as bad. Like, you know, I just don't like soda, so that's probably why I don't like it. Um, it does taste like cider, but like a hint of like a medicine aftertaste. Uh, yeah, not a fan. It's also 140 calories. That's, that's a lot of calories for a drink. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. <laughs> So overall, I was very satisfied with everything in this box. I pretty much liked every single thing in this box. However, I do have a favorite that I'm going to pick from this box. Out of all 10 snacks, my favorite would definitely have to be the peanut butter and jelly sticks. So the peanut butter sticks with the jelly sauce. Oh, not jelly sauce. It's like a raspberry sauce. Definitely, it definitely tasted like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich when you dip the stick into the raspberry jelly. I was very surprised because I wasn't, I didn't think I would like it only because I don't really like peanut butter and I thought the peanut butter would overpower everything else, but I thought it was delicious and it tasted just like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. So that by far is definitely my favorite. <laughs> um, so yeah, the peanut, what was it called? It was called the Serendipity Peanut Butter Sticks with Raspberry Jam from Greece. So if I saw a pack of that in the store, I would definitely buy it because it was delicious and tasted just like a peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it was really good. If I had to pick my least favorite snack out of this entire box, not including the drink, I would say it was the millions, the the Vimpto Millions from United Kingdom. Um, I just think it was really difficult to eat and the little nerds, they kept getting stuck in my teeth and I, it was just not, it wasn't enjoyable to eat. So if I would say my least favorite snack out of this entire box, it would be the Vimpto's Millions, little nerd things. Now, however, my least favorite thing out of the entire box would be this cider, Carbonated cider from Japan. Um, I just don't. It's carbonated cider, it's 140 calories. Honestly, I just don't like soda. So maybe that's why I don't like it. Also, it's also not that cold. So maybe if it was cold enough, I would like it more. But it just tasted like kind of like cider with like a hint of medicine, like an aftertaste of medicine. But I just don't like carbonated drinks, 
So maybe if it wasn't carbonated, I probably would like it more. If you are interested in getting this box, I did buy it at the store, FYE, for about $35. However, you could subscribe to a monthly subscription at munchpack.com slash FYE. I will drop the link in the description on where to purchase it. I'm not sure how much it is to subscribe for the box, but like I said, I did buy it at FYE for $35. Also, there is, I do have a promo code in the back of the book, so I will be able to Drop that down also in the description so you guys can get $10 off your munch box if you guys are interested in buying it. Anyway guys, that concludes the end of this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Court Sully, as well as my Instagram, Court Sully13. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when my next video is. Feel free to comment down below on what video you'd like to see from me next. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.